Oh, what is going on YouTube? It's the Adam Foley right here. Getting ready to watch New Japan Pro Wrestling Wrestle Kingdom 12. Now, heads up, in this video you'll see that I'm wearing two different tops, alright? That's because this was filmed over two days. Today is now the Friday, the day after Wrestle Kingdom. At the moment, uh, New Year's Dash is taking place live on New Japan World. I haven't got time to watch the rest of Wrestle Kingdom and New Year's Dash today. Uh, I'll probably watch New Year's Dash on Monday. Uh, I'll probably upload a video Monday evening, Tuesday morning. For my reaction to New Year's Dash. Uh, shout out to that wrestling club. Collar and elbow t-shirt. Rock on. Great top. Okay, so yesterday... I watched Wrestle Kingdom from the IWGP Junior Heavyweight match to the main event. Uh, looking at it last night, I noticed that the video just for those four matches was going to be 30 minutes long. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to do this in two parts. I'll do the first half as one video and then the second part as the second video. Just I don't think many people want to sit down for about over an hour just to watch me reacting to a couple of wrestling matches. So, uh, just get me New Japan World up. Load this up and then we'll get to it. So, uh, let's go. So, as I press play on New Japan's Wrestle Kingdom, English commentary one, obviously. Um, it says it's on for 6 hours and 38 minutes. Holy shit. So uh, the, uh, the Battle Royal now. The Battle Royal is the first match up. Uh, people have told me to watch it. I said it was pretty good. So uh, let's see how this one goes. So Bushi and Kitamura started off the match. And the first person out is fucking Delirious from Ring of Honor. Delirious is the man. He is an absolute nut job. This match will definitely suit him. Delirious going straight after Bushi, knocking Bushi down. Now he's up against Kitamura. He ain't gonna knock Kitamura down. Kitamura wins the uh, kickoff show Rumble. Great story, great story. Uh, he's diagnosed with cancer and uh, he's overcome it. And he's come back and he wins the Rumble. Kakihara wins the Rumble at Wrestle Kingdom 12 kickoff show. Very emotional moment for him. So, uh, well done, Kakihara. So, kicking off with the first match, it's the Young Bucks, Nick and Matt Jackson, taking on Rapungi 3K for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight titles, as they always do every year at Wrestle Kingdom. Open up with this tag team match, the uh, IWGP Junior Heavyweight title match, kicking off with a bang. And the Bucks, the elite. <laughs> Rocky Romero when he comes out with Rapungi 3K man it looks like he's auditioning for Ghostbusters man he comes out <laughs> that's what you think he is Dr. Venkman Rocky you need to get rid of that thing man you look like you want to be in Ghostbusters man the Young Bucks just took out Rocky Romero which he was on the ramp picked him up running power bomb all young bucks at the moment. One of Rapungi 3K looks like he's favouring his lower back. Nick Jackson hit a nice, nice high angle jam onto the apron. And uh, it's, yeah, it's all young bucks here, man. All young bucks. That's why the that's why they're the best. They are the best. Best tag team around at the moment. Nick Jackson goes for his move and he ends up going over the top rope and lands in flat on his back. He refused to tag. To tag back in. So either he's selling it really well that I believe it, or he might actually have a back problem right now. He's coming in, he's still hobbling on the back, and the, his back does look fucked. But oh, he's getting so much punishment to the back. Rapongi 3K, Yo got the tag to show. So uh, fresh man in, but now he's gonna double German to both the Jackson boys. Unbelievable, this match is amazing, man. What a way to kick off Wrestle Kingdom 12. 
in the taker by the Young Bucks. Stepping in to the sharpshooter. Could this be it? Could this be the seven times? Oh, that's it. Seven time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champions. The Young Bucks. The Elite. D D early break it down knee elite D D early seven time IWGP junior heavyweight tag team champions not to mention former Ring of Honor champions PWG champions this I'll tell you what I could watch that match again and again these these two teams are brilliant seriously these two teams, crazy, fucking crazy. Seven time tag team champions. Congratulations, the Young Bucks. Next up is the Never Open Weight Six Man Tag Team Title Match. Zack Sabre Jr. repping the Brits. Go on, Zack, son. Unbelievable, can't wait for this match. Izuka, Taichi, and Zack Sabre Jr. representing Suzuki Goon here. So, I believe they're taking on Tongaloa, Tamatonga, and Bad Luck Fale. Or is this the Gauntlet one? Ah, oh, this is the Gauntlet one. Yeah, this is the corner one. So, Big Mike. Surprising, Big Mike still actually representing New Japan after what's happened. So, we've got Big Mike coming out. And uh, War Machine, Hanson and Ro. Could this be Hanson and Ro's last appearances in New Japan? Who knows? Right, so I might be wrong on this. But the Gauntlet match, from what I understand, is... Two teams start off, so you've got Elgin, Rowan and Hansen taking on Zack Sabre Jr., Izuka and Tai Chi. Someone gets pinned and then another team comes out. I'm not sure if the rules are different in Japan as they are when they're in America and the UK, but that's how I'm thinking it's going. So let's find out. Whoa, Zack Sabre Jr. just choked out Ray Rowe. War Machine and Michael Elgin are out. Next team comes in, representing Chaos. It's Ishii. It's Ishii. Where are they? Taking their time. Okay, so it's Ishii, Beretta, and Toriyana. Okay, so let's see how these guys do. Well, that didn't last long. Izuka had the iron glove on. Went to get Toriyano. Toriyano <laughs> pushed Taichi into him, into Izuka. Low blow, one, two, three. Wow. So next up, we've got Makabe, Juice Robinson, and Taguchi. Ooh. Let's see how this trio get on. Oh. Taguchi's got a football. <laughs> Juice Robinson, it could be a good year for Juice. Could be a good year for Juice 2018. Yano just pinned Taguchi, but just before that, Taguchi's in the corner, giving it the old Shinsuke. Giving the old Shinsuke and giving it the old Yow! That's <laughs> funny. So Yano. Eliminated Taguchi and eliminated uh, Tai Chi. Now, here we go. The boys. Tongaloa, Tamatonga and Bad Luck Fale. The champs. The last team out. Let's see who's going to win this. Beretta's been quite cool. I mean, he hasn't actually entered the match yet. But he's, he's broken up a few pinfalls. So let's see. Holy shit. Noon. Never open weight, six man tag team champions in Ishii, Yano, and Bretta. Bretta 
with the Dude Buster and Tomatonga gets the three count. I did not see that coming. I did not see that result coming. Unbelievable. Wow. So, like, looking at Tokyo Dome, I really want to get to a Wrestle Kingdom. I really want to get there. There's a few, there's a few events I want to get to. There's uh, the Rumble, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, and obviously Mania. And Tokyo Dome's definitely on that list for Wrestle Kingdom. But I love this entrance music for Cody Rhodes, man. It's brilliant. Um, Brandy's looking fine. Can't wait. I mean, obviously, when he lost the title to Dalton Castle at Ring of Honor Final Battle, that was a bit of a shock. But this this match could be quality. Holy shit! Cody Rhodes cut Rabushi on the ring apron just outside the rope. Kurt Rabushi was looking for a pole driver. Cody Rhodes hits a sick crossroads off of the ring apron onto the floor. Holy shit! Kurt Rabushi landed right on his head. The guy's not got great neck muscles and stuff obviously he's had trouble before that was fucking sick well Kota Ibushi beats Cody hits him with that devastating knee goes up to the top rope does a phoenix splash gets a three count one two three that match was brutal that match had it all man that was a great great match Fucking hell, both men left it all in the ring there. Crazy, crazy match. Wow. Now we have Evil and Sonata taking on the Killer Elite squad for the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championship. Hell, Evil and Sonata on a hell of a run. If they don't come out with these titles, I will be shocked. Evil. I think 2018 is the year of evil. I think maybe before the end of the year, he could have the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. And Sonata, Sonata could have the Intercontinental Championship. Who knows? But damn, this match is going to be good. Right off the bat, K yes, hit the killer bomb on Evil. After knocking Sonata off the top rope, looked like they were going to win. Sonata came in and broke it up. But this match has been all KES. All KES, man. Destroying the young lines out there on the side. Just completely cutting the ring in half. It, good tag team action, this, I'm telling you. So KES just hit the killer bomb on Sonata, and Sonata just kicked out at 2 o'clock. Even in Sonata actually just come back and just. Magic killer. One, two, two. Sonar going up top. Moonsault. One, two, three. Three! From a moonsault. Whoa. I know I said I, I expected them to win. I didn't think that would be the ending. Holy shit. That was mad. Alright, they hit him with the magic killer. He kicked out. But that's why I didn't expect him to get the three count from the moonsault. Holy shit. But your new IWGP heavyweight champions are Evil and Sonata of Los Ingobernables de Japón. Oh, next up, Minoru Suzuki versus Hiroki Goto. Hair versus hair and title on the line. Oh. I can't wait for this. 
two greats, two greats of New Japan, going on one on one. Suzuki's already got like half his hair missing anyway, so if he loses, then he's only got to shave the fucking back bit off. But damn, this is gonna be hard hitting and fucking nuts. Noru Suzuki, man. If you don't sing along to this one line, nothing. Kazani Nare. <laughs> Suzuki literally choked out of Goto right now from the top rope. He's out of it. Doctor comes in, Suzuki just gets in there and just kicks the doc out of that ring, man. Goto is out. He is out for the count. Ring the bell, man. Ring the bell. I fucking love it, man. Suzuki is the man. And if he gets chucked, he'll just have this like nasty little naughty laugh. Like, ha <laughs> ha Fucking nutter. He is an absolute psychopath, man. He is quality, honestly. He is unbelievable. Holy shit. Minoru Suzuki just hit the sweetest drop kick of his career. He got Goto right on that chin, man. Fucking right square on it, man. Unbelievable. So they said no seconds, right? So no Suzuki gun or no uh, chaos characters or anything coming up. Bullshit. Tai Chi comes down. Taka comes down. Desperado comes. Ooh. Damn, Suzuki is lighting up Goto. Slap, 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 slap. slap. Ooh. Oh. Suzuki just headbutted Goto and it was reminiscent of Shibata's against Akada. The noise it made. It's like Oh fuck! Why did they allow them to do that after what happened to Shibata? Oh for fuck's sake man, that was horrible. So oh Goto just hits one super Super Yoshigoroti off the top rope. And I'm sure that's the first fucking pin attempt of this match. And we're literally like 15, 20 minutes in. First pin attempt after that amount of time. That's crazy. So hard hitting. Oh, forearm to the face of Goto. Suzuki just looking at him like, come on. Oh, Goto's hit the GTR, Goto Revolution. Oh, we got it. He got it! Holy shit! Minoru Suzuki's gonna have to shave his head! So your new never open weight champion, Hiroki Goto, in a very, very hard hitting match. It was almost a bit it was a bit too intense to watch sometimes. Holy fuck. Wow. Holy shit. So right now in the ring, Minoru Suzuki is shaving his head. Holy shit. I can't believe that. His little backwards mohawk is just like, he's gone. Holy shit. He's a man of his word, he done it. Hats off him for doing it. But as I was saying before, it's almost like um, a thing of shame to shave your head. But, wow. Unbelievable. Okay, so now I've caught up with where I actually started from yesterday. So, uh, today's Friday. I'm going to edit this. Put it together. I'm just contemplating whether to put it into two parts. Because yesterday's one, which was the live one, from the Fatal 4 way onwards, was 30 minutes long. 
and the one I've just done now was about 20 minutes long. So I don't know whether to put it into two parts or put it in one part. If I put it in one whole video, it's going to be 50 minutes long. And I don't think many people will sit around and watch that. So when I've uploaded it, you will find out. More than likely, it'll be in two videos. Um, but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, click subscribe, leave a comment, uh, tell your friends about it. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at AdamFoley88. Uh, also, you can hit me up on Instagram at AxelF88. So, I'm going to go and edit this now. I've got about just under two hours before I have to go and pick up my little one from school. Hopefully, I'll get it edited in time. So, thanks for watching. Peace out, people.